Lidmar LMTV, Lidmar Television. Lidmar, your news starts now. Hey Lindmar, it's Monday, May 21st, 2018. American Red Cross Founders Day. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lindmar campus. Our top story, it was a huge weekend for our track teams. Our girls set an all-time Iowa best at the, at the state track meet. In the sprint medley relay, they finished with a time of 1 minute 43.64 seconds. The team of Ariana Roll, Olivia, Olivia Hubler, Jill Bennett, and Peyton Wenzel broke their own mark they set earlier this year. The girls also took first in the 400 relay and fourth overall. For the guys, Trent Davis took second in the 110 hurdles with a time of 14.42. Congratulations to boys and girls track. In other news, the Roar Store has some important news as they get ready for summer and fall. LMTV's Megan has the story. Thanks, Jonathan. The Roar Store closes for the summer this Friday. They'll have special hours this week. Today is their last full day, 8 to 3.30. They'll only have morning hours on Wednesday and Friday. Look for new items on the clearance rack. Hurry in for the best selection. The online store will be open during the summer. Watch for the latest on their webpage and social media. Back to you, Jonathan. Thanks, Megan. Hey seniors, Senior Volunteer Day is Wednesday morning. Volunteer assignments are posted around the building, so make sure you read them so you'll know where you are assigned and what clothes you should wear for the activity. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Today's show is brought to you by LMTV. If you want to learn video editing, sound, cinematography, and so much more, come by room J201 any morning and talk to Mr. Fry for more details. Welcome back. Volunteers are needed to help with the Wilkins 5th grade pig heart dissection. If you, need, if you are interested, please go see Mr. Meeker in room G141 today to find out more. Be sure you join the Senior Pride Walk in each elementary school. To register, go to tinyurl.com forward slash lmseniorwalk. Depending on the building, the Senior Pride Walk is May 24th or 25th. Now, Jenna's here with sports. On the scoreboard, Boys Tennis beat Pleasant Valley 5-1 in the state quarterfinal. They beat Benton Door 5-1 in the sub-state final. Girls Tennis came up short to Cedar Falls 5-1 in Class 2A regionals. Girls Soccer lost to West Des Moines Valley 5-3. Conference honors are out for Boys Tennis. Luke Van Don Donslayer and Ben Hediger made first team. Zach Glanz and Lucas Huffman made second team. Luke Van Donsleer was named Athlete of the Year. Today in Lindmar Sports, Varsity Golf Girls Golf is on their way to Muscatine for regional competition. It starts at 10. Boys Varsity Soccer faces North Scott in sub-state play at Muscatine. Team dismissed at 2.30. Varsity Basketball takes part in the Metro Tourney at Wash at 5 o'clock. Team dismissed at 3.15. In other sports news, all girls going out for volleyball next fall come to a meeting Thursday morning at 7.45 in the Lower Commons. All girls interested in running cross country this fall should attend the meeting Wednesday morning at 7.45 in the lecture hall. Any seniors who still have athletic uniforms or equipment need to turn in those soon to the athletic office or your senior sheet will not get signed. That's sports. Jonathan, back to you. Thanks, Jenna. In news from the counselors, seniors, you must have all of your signatures on your check sheet before graduation rehearsal, Wednesday at 1 in the main gym. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Audrey is here with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Jonathan. On the Arts and Clubs scene, there will be a brief meeting for the Magazine Club tomorrow morning at 8 in Miss Turner's room, E-135C. All FFA members, your banquet is tonight at 6.30 p.m. in the Pride Rock Commons. Official dress is required. Questions? See Ms. Lemmer. The yearbook staff is looking for new members for the 2018-2019 school year. Applications are available in front of the 1112 office. Return completed applications to the main office by Friday. That's the Arts and Club. Jonathan, back to you. Thanks, Audrey. Hey, Jenna, what's cooking in the kitchen? For lunch downstairs, it's chicken teriyaki. The other line will offer the potato bar. In the food court, it's chicken parmesan. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Jenna. Your LMTV forecast calls for a chance of showers today with a high of 63. Tomorrow looks mostly cloudy with a high of 77. And Wednesday, we could see some partly cloudy skies with a high of 81. 
And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to Limar website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire Craftsman crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and have an amazing Monday, Linmar.